Welcome to the Xanthos Valley. Today, I'm riding down to the sea where the namesake, the ancient city of Xanthos, can be found, along with the nearby religious sanctuary of Latoon. Looks like a decent distance, but it's mostly downhill. That seems pretty intense. Nothing better than the dog and water wheel combination. This is my kind of place. What a shot. Oh, you want some more pats? Is that it? You want some more pats? Come here. Ooh, a mosque under construction. Some serious hassan art being generated there. Well, that whole village had absolutely no restaurants open. Nothing but abandoned restaurants. That's a shame, I need some food. don't want me to go, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. I gotta keep riding until there's a restaurant with some food. Not an abandoned one like in your town. Sorry. I do like your water wheels though. Oh. oh. Just still following me. This dog's addicted to the pats. Good on ya. You want some pats too, huh? Do you want some pats? Come here. You want some pats? Come here. You little dog. Come here. Oh. You're a bit shy. Come on. The tiny dog will do it. You come here. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come here, you. 
Come here. There you go. Come here. Come here. I could just pat these dogs all day, but I've got to get to Xanthos and Latoon. And I've got to get to a restaurant with some food. Unlike those restaurants without food back there. The collapsed old bridge. I think I want a closer look at that. I just realized maybe the reason all the restaurants are shut is because it's Ramadan. Out in these small villages, people adhere to it a bit more, I guess. Bro, can you imagine building a mosque while fasting? That's intense. Like, you can't drink water, you can't have any food, and you're doing hard physical labor, like hammering and lifting massive planks of wood. Respect to those guys. All right, that up there, is the Acropolis of Xanthos. So I finally made it. Still didn't find any restaurants, but that's okay. I guess I'm observing Ramadan by extension. By the way, this place is UNESCO heritage listed alongside Latoon. Friendly? You friendly? Oh, you're friendly. Hello. Oh, no. Beautiful Roman Teatro. Now I think about the Roman Empire daily, so I love this kind of stuff. about those reliefs. I've never seen a sarcophagus up on top of a pillar like this. <laughs> the reason why these are UNESCO heritage listed is because of the quality of the tombs found here. Nice little central pool in this portico.
old piping. Check this place out. It's basically greenhouse city out there. They go on for miles. There's the river Xanthos down there, forming this entire valley. These tortoises are everywhere. It's very cool to see. Look at the texture of these columns. Friendly? Oh, hello. Hello, you. Oh, another dog. Oh, no. More dogs. So many dogs. I always like to follow along. You want to show me around? You want to show me around Xanthos? Now this was the largest city in the Lycian civilization. And the Lycians were hectic. For example, when they were being sieged by the Persians and they knew they couldn't win, they actually killed all their wives and children and slaves before engaging in a suicidal attack. That's pretty hectic, honestly. Check that out. Some kind of drain. Apparently the necropolis is up here. If the tombs are what made this place UNESCO Heritage listed, then the necropolis is the place to go. Surely. What an amazing thing hidden away in the forest. Get out of the way. Just go around, bro.
coming at me for you're gonna ram me now bros I think he is is he gonna ram me Yeah. Don't ram the human. Not a good idea. Not that I'd do anything, obviously. Check out that tower tomb right up on the Acropolis. Massive Acropolis wall. Deletions usually built stuff out of wood. So generally, these rock tombs are pretty much all that's left from that period. All the other stone stuff was built in the Roman times. It is Friday, midday time, so it's Friday prayers. That explains all the recitation echoing out. Okay, next stop, Latoon, the second half of this UNESCO listing. Apparently it's down a sacred road which connected Xanthos to Latoon, about four kilometers down into this sea of greenhouses. So that's where I'm heading now. Little puppy, tiny little puppy. Crossing the River Xanthos. Now I basically have to follow the River Xanthos all the way to Latoon. I wonder if this is the course of that sacred road. Greenhouse City. They just go on and on. So much produce. There it is, Latoon.
work here. It's really amazing, you can see the parts of the seats that were underground until recently, and the rest which was exposed. feet but only at the top I wonder what's the quickest way down from here I know Let's go check out that Temple of Apollo. Oh wow, turtles. That's a nice counterpoint to the tortoises at Xanthos. Look at that incredible ionic capital. It's so giant. The Temple of Leto. Okay, well that's obviously where Latoon comes from. of Artemis. Hmm. Temple of Apollo, here we go. Oh That's an incredibly well-preserved mosaic. There they are, the symbols of Apollo. The inner sanctum. Amazing that you can still see these metal staples. That's how they built them. Stone and little metal staples holding it all together. A technique that has withstood the test of time. Hadrian Fountain. Hmm. Ah, here we have an early Christian church. Sixth century, Justinian era. Okay, this has been Xanthos and Latoon. Met a lot of really nice dogs today. Yeah, it's been good. I'm gonna leave it here.